guys, welcome to Wacky Wednesday and today we're helping you and get ready to go back to school. So that's what are we are doing first. First, we are learning to tie a tie. We are. So if you are going to comprehensive school this year, um, or like, I guess some primary schools, well, I've seen a few, yeah. Okay. Um, you will need to know how to tie a tie. So these are, well, these are both dads actually, because I can't find mine. Yeah. These are our old school ties. My old school ties. These are dad's old school ties, <laughs> sorry. Um, so these are the ones we wore in year 11. Yeah. And those are the ones we wore from like year 7 to year 10. Um, four years. So we are going to show you how to tie them. So the first thing you want to do is put a big part on the other side to where I'm holding it in your right hand. Okay. Um, so if you're doing your right from your left, hold your hands up, and the one that says the right way around L is your left hand, and the other one's your right one. Obviously. Yes. Goes without saying. <laughs> but you said it anyway, just to clarify. Yeah. Just... So yeah. So the big part. So the the fat part in your right hand and the skinny part in your left hand and then you want to put it around your neck so you usually have a collar on like you've usually got a shirt on haven't you when you're wearing yep. a tie so you want to put your collar up and then put your tie inside inside the collar and usually leave up until you finish tying the tie and then put the collar yeah, down fold it back up. so you want to get the the fat part so this is fat part skinny part say hi hopefully you don't offend any ties <laughs> <laughs> Um, so you're going to get the fat part and cross it over the skinny part. Isn't that? Yep. You probably need to pull Even your fat that, part down a bit further. You need less, this bit seems to be longer. You need it? less of a tail, yeah. Okay. Otherwise you'll end up with a tie about this long. Yeah, that happened many times when I was getting ready for school. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's about the, the length that you want of the skinny part. Nice. And then this tie is quite long compared to some school ties. Um, the year 11 one was longer, wasn't it? Yeah, the purple one and your remember. Okay, so we've done the cross. Okay. So the fat part over the skinny part. And then you want to bring that underneath, like a little loop. Is that? Yeah. And over. Oh, yes. Um, so now you've got this kind of fold kind of thing. Right there. Right there? I think so. Yeah. Do so then this. what I do is I put two of my fingers inside there that's how i do it um but the best way to tie it like to learn to tie a tie is get a tie and tie like it this. untie it tie it untie it until you find the easiest way for you to do it but that's how i do it i put two fingers on there to hold it and as well then it keeps this loop open because you need this next so then you want to bring the loop the, the the fat part down and then through this gap here so through that, flip it over. You both did the same face, the like the squint eyes. And then the last step, this this is where I put my fingers through here, because then you want to feed the tail, so like this flap here. Triangle. Triangle through the loop. Like that. And then straighten it up. And then you just pull the fat bit through. And then the last way, no, Dad. Oh, I got a head. Got a head. There. Yeah. So then, you, what I used to do is just play with it until it looked all right. Really and then, cheap. yeah, you're gonna hold the knot and pull on the tail until it's tight enough. And then you can put your collar down if you're wearing a shirt, which you're likely to be if you're wearing a tie, because this does look a little bit odd. Ridiculous. And the last thing, most ties have got a little loop. You can just put the um the loop, oh, that yeah. the the tail through the loop. If not, I think I used to tuck it in my shirt, as in like through one of the button holes. Mm. There we go. Mm. If you didn't catch that, rewind and watch it again, and then <laughs> rewind and watch it again. And you might want to like pause it in between steps step. if you're still trying to get it. And it is actually easier. Once you know all the steps, to do it quicker, yeah, rather yeah. than taking so long over each um, little stage. I still have to like relearn kind of how to tie a tie when we do this video because I haven't tied one for like four years. Four, yeah, four yeah, years. Yeah, gosh, 
I haven't been in school for four years. I'm I'm two years out, so I'm a little bit closer to the. There to you the go. And yeah, to undo it, you just pull the tail out, oh. and it just unravels, and then you can do it again. So take these off for now, and at the end we're going to have a little race. Are you right there, Dad? Yeah, I'm good. Just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> And we're going to have a little race at the end. It's really distracting. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Dad's escaped from his tie. Um, at the end, we're going to have a race of who can tie a tie the best and the quickest. With? With, with what? Our eyes, eyes closed. closed. We do that quite a lot. Talk at the same yeah, time. Yeah, we do. We don't do it intentionally. We do not plan it. Right. The next thing we're going to do is make some time capsules. Do you know what a time capsule is? Yes. So if you don't know what a time capsule is, um, it's basically something um, like a, a jar or a box or something, a container, that you put things in that I guess represent a time in your life or like a yeah. group of people's lives. Um, sometimes they are buried for like someone to open in a hundred years. Yeah, I've written on them, do not open until yeah. 100 years from whatever. Ours are going to be for you to open at the end of the school year. Right, okay. So the first thing we're going to do is draw around our hands. And then next year, when you open them, you can see how much your hands have grown by next year. We're so not we're expecting ours to grow much. No, being, considering we're adults. Being we're 18 and 20 respectively. Um, yeah, so pick a colour, Dad, any colour. Any colour. Probably a dark colour, so it shows up so you can cut that because it's out. That's not a very dark colour. Very dark, dark colour, is that? Let me pick you a colour. Just find a darker go. shade of blue or just a darker shade of green. So we're just going to draw around our hands and then cut them out. Right, there we go. We've cut out our hands. I think they're relatively the same size as our hands. Um, if you want to do two, now they are the same size as our hands. I missed a bit. Um, if you want to do two, so you've got two hands, you can do two, but we're just going to do one. And that's the first thing we're going to, and we need them with foam so they can kind of like slide into our time capsules. So yeah, pop that in. Um, you didn't have to use a jar, and um, you can just put them in an envelope or in a little cardboard box. Your hand doesn't fit in the jar. No, I'm gonna have to just... fold it. Yeah. Oh, you just crushed my foot. Ow. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Yeah, we might just do some little decoration or something outside at the end. But Ooh. sorry, I I could hear my voice like just the gently echoing. So I feel like I have to do this. Ooh. Um, anyway. Memories for years to come. Your voice is now Memories in the time capsule. My memories. My voice, I mean. <laughs> so what we're going to do next is measure our heights. Oh. So we're not actually not going to measure them. We're just going to put a piece of string. We've got some string for Dad. <laughs> it's probably a bit much. <laughs> Um, so we're not actually going to like measure like a number, yeah, unless you want to. Accurate measurement. Um, but we're going to put a piece of string in that is the height that we are. And I've kind of got it a little bit tangled, but it's all good. So what we're going to do is Dab is going to put this or hold this or put it under your foot might be the best idea. Yeah. Just under your, um, I was thinking, oh yeah, that works. Um, and then what I'm going to do is put it to stand up straight. And then I'm just going to hold it um, where his height is and then cut it away from his face because we don't want to chop any noses off. I'm going to say eyelashes, but um, oh. noses too, yes. So there's our string. Measure that later. And my string. There you go. I'll have a. What's like? What's the actual head finish? Are you standing up straight? Yeah, there. There. Sort it. So, we've got our 
height straight. Also, fun fact, your your height is exactly the same length as your arms. Like your arms going across your body and then to your other arm. To be a middle finger, to be yeah. a middle finger. That's arms are that's not very accurate. No, because I have I have to hold it like that so I can't stretch out all the way. Ah, uh, fair. But yeah. Anyway, yeah. Roughly. So I'm just gonna kind of wrap mine up, I think, into a little um something. I'm just gonna coil mine up like this. And maybe just tie a little knot there. And then just something that you can undo easily next year. Just like that. There we go. And that's gonna go in our time capsule. So that is how tall we are. If you don't have string, you can use wool or some ribbon. You're right there, Dad. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so ribbon or anything that you've got in your house that can measure the height of something. And be cut easily. So in the time capsule, I can't speak. Time capsule, it goes. And then there's one more thing. What's the last thing? Ah, so after your first day of school, which possibly has already happened for you. Yes. But if you've already been gone back to school um, this year, you can write, think back to what happened on your first day of school this year, and write about what you don't have to write anything if you're not going to school now. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, so you can write about your first day what you did, or you could draw a picture of something you did on your first day, or maybe one of your friends that you've missed, especially over lockdown, if you've missed one of your friends, or maybe your teacher. Um, if you made a new friend. Yeah. Or anything, you know, to draw or write, or both. Just anything about and the first day. You can use as many pieces of paper as you want. You could do origami if you wanted to. Yeah, if you can fit that in your time capsule. I'm just going <laughs> to fit, you know. So then, what you probably need to do is fold it, however, it will. It needs to be folded to get into the time capsule. Yeah. So I'm going to fold mine. Obviously, we haven't written anything on ours because we're not going to school. But yeah, you could write about what you had for lunch, um, what you learnt about, what lessons you did, all that sort of stuff. And then I'm going to roll mine up into a nice little. I was just thinking I might go for a, go for a fold and roll strategy. And then I'm going to get a little bit of string, I think. And tie a little bit. Get too fancy for me now. Okay, the rolling didn't, didn't quite work out as I was hoping. Sort of quite as a square triangle roll. But I think. Yeah. There we go. That is, is that satisfactory. It? In it goes. And then that is anything else that you want to put in there. Um, it could be um, a picture that you might have taken with the uniform on. If your mum and dad could print one out for you, you can put that in there. Or anything really, anything you can think of. That, a memorable pen. Yeah, something that reminds you of your first day back at school. So then we need to close it up. So we've got some tissue paper. We're going to use yellow, I think. And if you're using tissue paper, you probably want a few layers because, ooh, what's happened to you? Some tie dye going on here. <laughs> some pink influence. On um, the yeah, you probably want a few layers just so that it um covers it and you can't it doesn't make a hole nice so you want green it's kind of pretty cut for you go on then i'll have i'll have green then <laughs> as in like i found that piece and then you want some more string or you can use uh an elastic band that's the other option there you go there. Thinking one. Ooh. That. Yeah, if you if you need a bit of help with this, just ask your mums or dads or grandparents or brothers or sisters, anyone. Oh, I have a sister here. Could you help with it? <laughs> Right, 20, Lovely. 20, so 2021, school, time capsule. And that's pretty much it cool. for the time capsule. Last thing is the race. The race. Of tying ties. Ooh. 
right. with closed eyes. Competitors, pick up your ties. Start your knotting. Should we, let's put them flat on the table to start. Well, shouldn't we have them around our necks before we start if our eyes are closed? No. Okay, I'm going to move the scissors away. Good plan. Everything's sharp away, the pencil and all. Yeah. Right, are you um, ready? Let's move these. Make sure we can see everything. Make sure there's no cheating going on, please. We won't be able to see anything. Our eyes will be closed. So they can see. So they can see. They oh, okay. see the... did, did you know they were watching? Or did you think we were doing this for fun? I mean, <laughs> both. Fair yeah. enough. Right, you ready? Yes. So at the beginning of the countdown, well, at the end of the and countdown. That's you done. So tie the tie. Slap the Whoever table. does it first. I thought the table could suffer as a result okay. of the competition. Okay, you ready? Yeah, so when do we shut our eyes? When, when I say. Okay. Okay. Close your eyes and then I'll count down from three. Okay. So three, two, one, go. Yeah. Go, you can pick your tie up. Okay. Okay? Close where, your eyes. Where are your hands going to be? Can they be on the side? On your head. On your head, cool. Three, two, one, go!